Welcome everybody, Farm Sim Snowy here. In this video, we're going to look at a new mod map release for Farm Simulator 19. This is Glazebrook by Steve's Mods. It is 241.24 megabytes to download says welcome to glazebrook which is a fictional based english map full season support all animals are built into the map all brand new english real life farm models custom made full season support custom lighting engine xml animated objects this map includes all farming simulator 19 features custom soil textures malfoy in brackets distance grass ground textures two cow farms and two sheep animals which include a farm and field there is many sale points around the map 108 fields small medium large which are all to scale and correctly please ask before using any of the models also any textures i hope you all like this glazebrook so let's go and check it out and here we are this is where you start off in all three modes. This is the map. As you can see, it's not quite full size, but it is quite a big map. It's a nice map as well. I like it. Nice layout, nice feel to it. As you can see, various cell points dotted around as it says, but we start off down here. Now I'm in new farmer mode. And in new farmer mode, we start off with this area where your main farm is, which you get the farmhouse, cows and a silo. And we also get fields 1, 9, 18 and 33. Now they're all spread out. If you wanted to buy these areas in the other three, uh, two modes, farm manager and start from scratch, the main farm area is 97,000 to buy. Field 9's 40, 1's 55, 18, 82,000, and 33 is a bit bigger, 156,000. The field prices aren't too bad to be honest with you, and they vary in size as you can see. You've got some small fields like 44, it's only 27,000, 88's a bit bigger, comes with 50 as well. Some of them do come in blocks of two, a lot of them are separate. So 293 for that one there. I think 60 is on its own for 239. 99 comes with 100, 106,000. So as you can see, some are separate. Some come in pairs. 29 is only 70,000. There is a BGA up here, which is only 17,337, which is awesome now as you can see it shows up there and across the road which i'll explain later there's only two sort of forestry areas that i can make out and it's they're numbered so 101 is actually forestry area but there's nothing stopping you clear on that area turn it into a field so that's 73,000 to buy and the other one was over here for 64,000 to buy now on the description it does say that there's two cow farms and two sheep animals it says but all I can find is the animals that are actually on the map now showing so we've got cows down here at the main farm we've got a sheep farm over here which if you wanted to buy that it comes with a silo as well that's 57,000 to buy there's pigs up the top there that also comes with 70 and 71 that's 218,000 to buy and we've got horses over here which comes with this area which we'll check out in a second or later with some buildings and sheds there that's 133,000 to buy. I couldn't find any other animals. I literally bought the whole of the map because there is a outside of the map. If we click on the roads, 
which is quite expensive. It's nine million four hundred fifty-seven thousand. So I literally bought that. I bought every single field, and no more animal pens appeared. So as far as I can see, it is just those animals that are in game. Now you don't have to own the animal pens to use them. Earlier on, when I tested it, it let me use them without owning the land. What I will say is the farmhouse here is fixed in place as are all the animal pens so they cannot be sold which is a bit of a shame because there's various little houses dotted around the map which would be great if you wanted to start somewhere else. We'll see all them as we go round. So that's a bit of a downfall and I know that would upset a lot of people but maybe it will get changed in an update. So this is our farmhouse so if we come up there you're not tired what I will say as well on the other two modes farm manager and start from scratch this is here and it shows up on the map and you still can come up to it and use it as a sleep trigger so yeah in terms of slot count let's have a go through the slot count before we go mooching around the yard in new farmer mode the slot count is 638 out of 1299 and you do start off with quite a lot of equipment it's madness really we start off with five tractors if you were to sell everything off you can get that down to 350 slots in farm manager and start from scratch you obviously don't start off owning any land you do start off with pretty much all this equipment bar one thing which is at the very end which is a modded in C tank and that slot count is 627 on those two modes and if you sell everything you can get it down to 340 so there you go so a new farmer mode well all of the modes I'll show you the difference we start off with a Puma 185 CVX the Maxim CVX 115, a Fent 1050, which is a beast, a 340 CVX, the JCB Fast Track 8330, so like I say, five tractors. We've got two pickups, <laughs> the old and new. We've got two trailers. We've got a plow. We've got two cultivators. We've got a subsoiler. We've got seeders and planters, crop sprayers with the additional tank we've got a solid fertilizer spreader front and rear mower a tedder a wind rower two balers a mixing wagon for your tmr we've got the straw blower shredder for your animals we've got the aqua trans for water front loader with bucket pallet forks and bell spikes we've got a weight and then we've got two large grain silos both 200,000 200, litre capacities and they just do standard crops. One is at your main farm and the other one is at the sheep farm, but you do start off owning them. And that silo there is where it ends on farm manager and start from scratch. You don't get this seed tank like so. Now, if you sell this seed tank off, it's still there on the map, but you can't use it. So just be aware. That is the only modded in thing. You can find that under placeables and miscellaneous, I think it was. Yep, yeah, there. So there you go. And that is on the map up here. It's like a little garden center, which we will check out later. So that is a slot count. There's no custom crops. There's only that one modded in thing. There's contracts available, which I will show you like so. Not going to be huge payer outers because they're not huge fields. But anyway, let's have a wander around. There's your two pickups. We run into our yard. We've got a nice cattle grid there. We'll go this way. Got quite a huge shed there with a drive through door a lot of our equipment in here as far as i can tell there's no lights at all in any of the buildings i could see which might cause problems if you're sort of 
doing a bit of night work that's our cow pasture we'll come back to that again more equipment dotted around as you can see you can go in all these that was the drive through one this is a separate one again it's going to be pretty dark in there I would have thought got these two doors here which is the same shed which again is nice and big some of our equipment in no lights though if we run around the back some more of our equipment as you can see this is our silo tip in there pipe out there just a standard in-game large one we've got some of our equipment here and sort of a little area another shed with all of our tractors or most of them little door there you can go in another little shed pretty dark though again these are two bunker silos silage clamps turn on the help menu there you go fill chaff compacting like so and now our cow barn cow pasture can open these gates like so this is the dialogue box just in front of that gate this will hold 500 cows now I had a slight issue with this or found a couple of slight issues with this if I come onto a map and it's not glaringly obvious where things are ie feed triggers straw triggers etc I'll come on and test it now to me that is the feed trough runs all the way that length I could not get any trigger to come up for the feed trough I tried the Joskin trailer first filled it up with TMR couldn't get any trigger come up at all I went all the way through here through here even through here just couldn't get anything and I think I thought maybe it's the trailer then because sometimes triggers are a bit iffy and they only work with the tip side tipping trailers whatnot then I thought hang on we've got a feed proper feed mixer so I filled that up with TMR come in and that pours out right and left so I did right and left all the way along kept going around nothing couldn't get it so I couldn't test where the manure comes out because that isn't glaringly obvious I'm imagining it is going to be in here and you've probably got to muck them out yourself because there's no manure pit anyway your cows will appear out here and they do go inside you've got your milk point just there which is obvious water trough just there and we've got our slurry pit over here now this is the second issue I saw on farm manager and start from scratch this slurry pit isn't here it's just a hole in the ground and it looks a bit ugly and nasty so I'm not sure what is wrong there but it only appears in new farmer mode so I'm guessing there's a slight issue with this cow pasture probably or not probably will need an update but that is that that's pretty much all our yard we will grab one of the pickups probably the newer one and we'll have a little tour around I do like it though it is a nice map if you're looking for an English map UK map and you like your UK maps I think you're gonna like this one I would probably wait and see if there's an update though so what we're gonna do is we'll come out and we'll do kind of a clockwise tour around the map and we'll finish off probably down here again I think that's probably the best route round what I could see There's no collisions on the hedges. But obviously some areas have got little fences on and obviously the gates you will collide with. But it's got some nice little features on there. Um, well yeah, what else I didn't show you on the map? I'll just stop over in this cell point. 
so just over here again it's not glaringly obvious so if we tag up shop that is literally just over there next to Sam's fish and chips what I wanted to show you is we have got like a draw carriageway is what we would call it in the UK that runs all the way through the map like that and goes off down that way which is pretty smart so you can jump on and off of there to get to various places so I'll just jump out to get rid of that I've no idea what those people are doing there I noticed that earlier when I was on here testing as well they seem to be gathered round not socially distancing right shop right down the bottom that will take just eggs and milk so there you go now we'll move on to the sheep farm so this is part of the dual carriageway there look we're going across as you can see so just on our left here we have got the sheep farm so we'll just jump out this door's permanently open but you can use this one and that one again no lights so it is going to be dark I know I keep saying it but your other silos here you tip in there and your pipe out is right underneath the trees that's going to be a bit tight you might have to renew, uh, remove those trees we've got another little bit of storage just there and then your sheep dialogue box is just there this holds 250 sheep open the gate you got your feed trough to the right and then to the left of the gate we've got a water trough just there and the wall spawns uh, just about there so that is the sheep farm I did show you the prices of them didn't I I think I did yeah 57 to buy so now I need to come out of there and come up and the entrance to the grain cell point is just up there kind of reminds me a little bit I know there's loads of UK maps out there but because I played on it and did a series on it it reminds me of Oak Hill this um, map actually can we get to I think we can get to grain cell point that way yeah it does remind me of Oak Hill quite a bit so if we come up here we've got some lovely little brick walls as well on the map again there's lots of storage tons of storage around no lights again but just round the back here all bits and bobs dotted around the um, actually I've got a bit confused here what am I doing let's tag that up so that is in there isn't it yeah there you go and there's another door there so it's a drive through so this is going to be one of your main cell points Gonna tag that again so it appears on our menu because it's one of those menus where we've got two grain cell points and two sugar beets and it's going to be awkward trying to skip down to them so this will take all your standard crops plus it will take eggs and milk and that is it and the other grain cell point is exactly the same so i won't bother coming into this menu for that so back out And we need to go. Yeah, I thought that was the road in. 
what I'll tell you what's happened is I came on earlier and had a quick scout around and then I started recording the next episode of one of my series and I've <laughs> I've forgotten a few things where things are anyway we'll carry on up around this way we'll come to the roundabout again very nice pretty little roundabout very British that is so we will head up round this way now and we'll go to the BGA which again I like is something different which you'll see in a second obviously you can see there's traffic on the map I do like the distance textures though look at the mountains and hills in the distance so we're just coming up to our BGA what I'll do is I'll pull in this right side first because like I said earlier you've got two parts of the BGA now I haven't tested it but my guess is the main BGA is over there and down a slight slope this side is our digestate and I think that's going to be a digestate pipe just there so if we back out and again you can see the main BGA bit is sunk into the ground slightly I do like that and just up on that cliff is one of the fields and when you're up there doing your field work it just looks well smart down here when you're up there so we've got two bunker silos there as you can see and right in this corner is going to be a digest uh, cell point whatever you want to call it just a standard um, BGA just takes your standard items Although one I did buy it earlier, it gave me quite a good price for silage. I think it was like 900 or something for that, which is pretty good for a BGA. So let's have a quick recap of where we came out of. We came out of there, our main farm, to the shop, into the sheep pen, up here, grain cell point, out, round the roundabout, up here. We're now at the BGA. Now we're going to cut through here, a lovely little tunnel going underneath the road in a second bridge we'll go under a bridge we'll go up to the pig farm so like I say there's some stunning little features on here look going under this bridge I like that quite tight though that is but then I don't think you're going to be using huge equipment on here Sunflowers looking beautiful to our left. This is one of the forestry areas to our left, as you can see. It's not huge, but there's enough in there to give you a little bit of income. Turn that into a field if you wanted to. And then we'll come down on the left here. This is going to be our pig farm. We've got a sort of drive through shelter just here, like so. Now this is what I'm on about with the sleep trigger not being sellable because you've got an absolutely stunning house here. You could use for a bit of role playing, maybe like a B&B &B or something like that. That'd be quality. So I hope that gets updated and you're able to sell the um, sleep trigger. But we've got some shed space here filled off to the back there more storage shed that's not a drive through that is just like a container down the end like so come round to the pigs that's going to be your manure pit these gates do open up there where is it there we go shiggy pig farm <laughs> that gate opens as well you've got your dialogue box there that holds 300 pigs 
running here this is your straw trigger just there your feed trough just there with your trigger pigs will appear inside here and out here as well just over there we've got our water trough with a nice load of grass in it jump the fence around the side here we've got our slurry pit as you can see so that's all pretty obvious I didn't have to do any testing really there although I did test the straw just to make sure that was the um, right spot so from here we'll come out we'll go all the way up check out the sawmill Swing a right, like so. It's a little bit dark in places, but it's not too bad. It's not really in your face dark, if that makes sense. So, here we go quality timber just inside. You've got your timber lumber cell point just there and then in the corner just over there you've got your wood chips like so. So from the sawmill I think we'll probably just go down there and cut that way instead of going through this snaky bit. And then we'll come up and we'll go across here and we'll check out these cell points and all this lot area. Actually we'll probably swing a left down there and come up there like so I'll probably change my mind by the time we get there as soon as there's different ways you can go to get to places so we definitely don't want to go up around there we'll go down this way start to get back into where the traffic is now because we're on more of a main sort of road So if we go left here, so yeah, you, you have look, we're going over a bridge now. It's nice, nice map. Now, what did I say already? What I did think, actually, thinking of it, is see this area here, you can see some buildings there. I thought maybe that's one of the extra farms, but it's not. Like I said, I've bought all of this map and no more animal pens came up, nothing else, silos, nothing. But we'll go down and we can see that area as we come to it. You can see it's um, not all flat this map as well, you've got some different areas. No, we're not going to be able to get to that now are we? Come the wrong way. Tell you what, let's just have a quick run up there. So it's just some buildings really, like so, which you can use. As you can see. jump the fence and then there's some more over to our right which comes as part of that package um, where am I going I've missed the spinnery haven't I that's back there I've lost all my bearings I do apologize so this is your spinnery again not glaring the obvious but that is where that is for your cotton and your wool and then just up in here we've got our animal dealer as you can see there's your box just there 
like so. Come back out, we've got a fuel station just next door. There you go, petrol station, fuel station. Go under the bridge again. Carry on round, if we go left here, brings us up into this area where there's a few sail points. So, just there is a grain sail point, which is your second main sail point. And then just in front of us, we've got the potato sugar beet sail point. Like so, just in there, that one you can use for a bit of storage if you wanted to. So that will take obviously potato sugar beet and also sugar cane. And there's another one further down the bottom of the map where we're going to finish off. That was take the same as well. And just next door, we've got bales, which is obviously going to be for your silage, grass, hay, and straw, loose or actual bales same sort of thing one's more for like shared space i guess although that triggers all the way through there not tested that so but it's pretty obvious where that is so from there let's untag that we will come out we need to get down to the shop really so we'll probably cut through and get up onto there i'll probably be a bit naughty and go off-roading so what we want to do is we go back this way I know this isn't the best way to do it, but it is easier. Now head on down to the shop. So I just like the way you're up. You know, this bit's elevated up, that's brilliant. So we're just heading down to the shop now. John Deere dealership, as you can see. Like so, a nice drive in through and round and down. Ooh, it's a bit bumpy there. This is also your reset point as well. Now, this is quite cool. I like this again, something different. So, we've got to go into the doors. You've got another doorway just there like so we've got a cash machine and you've got your vehicle repair customization just there and if we go through this door into the shop area it's all been done out like this you got your shop menu just there I think that's quite smart how they've done that something different so back out of the shop we will go I'm not sure I think we might be able to get on there or suss it out unless I'll go all the way up there I'm not sure probably do might have to do that actually go all the way back up there let's see what happens this isn't one of my best planned out map tours so I do apologise at least I did come on and test a few things out though <laughs> I know we should be able to do that actually uh, that's gonna yeah no that's the right way isn't it we're not in America now So we're back on this way, so if we come along we'll hopefully be able to get off here and come out and check these two places out. 
what should I say, is like the garden centre, that's got the sea tank in there. I do like this dual carriageway though, that's a nice touch. Just skip round this guy, yeah we can go left here, which is smart, that's what we want. And then the garden centre is just in here. As you can see, there's a cash machine there. There is some greenhouses, whatnot, decoration. There's your sea tank, like so. And if we come out of this way, we'll go round and we're going to go into where the horses are. And again, this has got a nice house in there and a bit of storage shed space so it could have been again a potential starting farm if you didn't want to start off where you are if that makes sense so there's a farmhouse there we've got a little bit of shed space there to our left some more shed space and then we've got some older sort of rusty looking sheds just round the back and this big one there So again pretty smart starting area if you wanted to let's jump out this gate opens dialogue box for the horses this will hold eight horses everything's to the left you got your feed trough just there your water trough is here and the straw trigger for me came up around here so you've got a little bit of shelter there to store some bells or bags of oat if you wanted to do that. So not too bad. Now I think we've got one place left to go, this potato sugar beet. So I'm hoping we can get back out and go along there. Which I think we can, straight across. If we can't, it'd be a bit of juke to hazard time, wouldn't it? in the UK so back past the garden center should be out yeah we can go straight across here I'm gonna run the risk of just we floor it underneath another bridge you've kind of got to go round and back on yourself for this one which is okay with us won't take long in the pickup there's the edge of the map there it leads off into a tunnel then we climb slightly to go over that road we just come across like so And just in on the left here somewhere there we go we've got another potato sugar beet sale point which is exactly the same as the one we saw earlier quite nice and flat there I don't know if you'll be able to place anything else on so There it is just in there and again you can use this for storage if you want and these guys over here like so I think we've pretty much covered it if we went out and came straight along there you'd come back to your main farm but again there's another area just down here which got sheds and whatnot in so in fact let's go and have a quick look at it I'll show you so if we whiz back out because straight away when I saw those on the map I thought oh that's got to be the other areas where you can um, buy the land and the animal pens are going to appear but no 
just all random shed spaces dotted around the map so you've got a bit of a cattle grid there as well which again says to me is there something here but it's not it's literally just sheds there's not even a farmhouse here so that is it so you're not short of shed space nice little tunnel there that is it that is Glazebrook by Steve's Mods hope you have all enjoyed the map tour if you have please give us a like if you haven't subscribed yet then please do don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine I've been Farm Sim Snowy. Stay frosty.